Halloween Horror Nights. Oh yes, we're Spooky here. Spooky season starts here. Spooky <laughs> season starts here. We're here for our first ever visit for Halloween Horror Nights. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so looking forward to it. It's so hyped. It's an opening night. We've got a lot of mazes to do. There's 10 houses all together. Yeah. We're here, we're doing three nights of it. So we're not going to try and get everything done tonight. We're just going to do as much as we possibly can yeah. and then have a game plan for the next two, aren't but we? But it's all going to be in this vlog. We're not going to separate it off. It's just going to be there. So yeah, let's see how we get on. We're actually going to go in the park now um, and have a day on Universal. And then we're going to do Stay and Scream. So we won't be coming through these games. We'll actually be inside the park with a hole due so we can get some actually some hopefully get some mazes in before all the crowds get in there. That's the plan. So, anyway. That's the plan. It might not work out. Universal, we can either do um, what most people do, which is go through the main gates or open at half six, or you can do Stone Scream. What you need for Stone Scream is a separate ticket, which is $35, I think, or if you already have a ticket for the park in the daytime, that enables you to stay and scream, and that just basically means you get to stay in the park, you get held into a pen, and they set you in a couple of mazes a little bit earlier. So that's what we're doing today. So we've chosen to go in the New York area and there's a few different types of stain screens around depending on what maze you want to queue for. So because we're in this one we can queue directly for Halloween and they'll let us in probably a little bit earlier. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so Halloween Horror Nights has officially started. We've just gone and done um, Halloween, which is really, really good. It was uh, so good. It was so it? good. Like, even though it's like a conga line, which I knew was to be expected, so many actors in there that you get a scare. Yeah. Like, I got one scare, you got a few. Yeah, the last room, it's like a mirror maze of loads of Michael Myers. I got two really good scares in there. Yeah, they come, like, two of them come to life, and they both got Joe's. So. <laughs> Fifteen oh, minutes. Yeah. We're going to do Dead Man's Pier. Good shower. Well, Fifteen minutes to drink these beers. <laughs> so it is yeah. night time now. We've just done two scare mazes. So we did. We just did Coven. Yes. Which is good. Wasn't that scary? Oh, yeah. Good concept. Speakeasy that turned into a witch coven. Yeah, but like, not much witchy vibes yeah, on there's it. not much witchy vibes. And I had high hopes for that one. I was yeah. looking forward to that. Well, before that, we did about Dead Man's War. Oh, and that was, was great. It was beautiful. That was such a pretty maze. Such that a was, nice that maze. was like darkest depths times ten. That's how I just. And so it. many scares in it as well. Yeah, like really, really, really good. Really like good. so good. So we're gonna go do a uh, tuba cabra. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you just come out of Chupacabra. Yeah, yes, yeah, so Chupacabra. I thought it was a strong maze in terms of like set design and stuff. Like I, again, I didn't get very many scares in there, but it was a very pretty maze. They had some good animatronics and stuff. They're not that scary. It, it's, it's a look at the draw, really. If you're in the right place at the right time, you'll get some good scares. Well, that's what it is, because it's kind of like the conga line. It's just a queue all the way through. You just follow the person in front of you. Like, I wanted the scares in there. I really wanted to like that one, but I liked it. It's quite funny as well, because you're in a queue for like nearly an hour, 45 minutes, and then all of a sudden, you're in the house, because the queue just keeps going into the house. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, it's on here. Around. 
Oh, you don't even notice where they are. Oh, she's creepy. Revenge of the Penis. We looked it because up. Because it was it basically it was the worst cocktail they ever made. They've ever done a Halloween they, Horror Night. It was so bad that they took it off the menu within like the first two nights or something. But now it's back. And now they've got the Revenge of the Peanut, and we saw it, we bought it, and it's actually got this little peanut floaty thing. It's whiskey. I don't like whiskey too much, but you yeah. actually like it. Yeah. You actually like it. Yeah. I would drink that, that's so good. It doesn't even taste like whiskey, it just tastes like peanut. Joe's too drunk now, that's why she likes Try it. Try it. Okay. That's nice. That's all right. How is that? That's nice. <laughs> that can't be the original one. Okay. No, that's why it's the revenge of one, they redid it. No, that's, that's good. They reworked it and now it's very, very drinkable. We like, we like, like peanut butter stuff. That tastes like peanut butter. Yeah. It's delicious. It's like, well, look at these uh, pizza fries. So these are the vegan pizza fries. Vegan cheese. It's got vegan cheese, vegan pepperoni, and vegan sausage crumbles on it. Good. I made them. So we go to the monsters. Yeah, monsters. Legends collide. Here we go. I love that. That was so. That was my most scares of the evening. So it's the mummy, the werewolf, and Dracula all just popping out all over the place. I, I thought that was brilliant. That was scary. That one. I thought that was so good. Everywhere you look, like whatever corner you turn. Yeah, it was brilliant. Loved it. But the weekend maze just looks chill. Yeah, that queue line looks. It's fun. got <laughs> weekend music playing. It's like a party in the queue. I loved at the end the mummy had the werewolf's head in his hand. Yeah, the mummy had that, yeah. and, and we was all clapping him, and he was like, "Yeah!" <laughs> it's kind of like the storyline is is a battle royale between Dracula, mummy, and the werewolf trying to win this amulet, the crystal, because that will give them their ultimate power. So we're going to go do the weekend maze, and this we're is where we were queued for the um, 
the Legends one, wasn't it? Yeah. This is called the Ghoul Juice. It's a rum cocktail that they serve here. We've got two cocktails. Yeah. It's a rum one and a gin one. So yeah. we, we've gone from rum today and May. Oh, I forgot to turn the party on. Turn the party on. The party's Ooh. on. Had... <laughs> <laughs> How did we end up in the Legends? What happened was, <laughs> thought we were joining the weekend queue and we got to the in the house like oh how long till we're in the weekend she was like this isn't the weekend this is legend <laughs> now we're here we're like oh this is exactly where we just were i feel like we're going to do a festival or a nightclub at the minute how crazy is this What do you think? That was so good! Like, I love that because it was fun, but it was scary. Like, there was some, like, there was was, some stomach churning yeah. bits in that as well. Like, gross I was like, I was like dancing through that, but then they did some random <laughs> in there. Yeah. That would like turn your stomach. That was such a good amaze. And to be I honest, love that. the queue for that would just made it worth it anyway. Like, that I would do that vibe. multiple times. Was everyone was just dancing the entire yeah, like, way there. It was a fun time, which is amazing. <laughs> Oh no, that was great. I love that one. Smashed it. I was dubious about that one. How, yeah. is, it, how is it gonna work? But it works. Oh, there it is. Mel's dying. So done. <laughs> That's the end of day one. It's like 2 a.m. now. And that, well, every, all the scare zones and stuff have stopped, so it's like. Well, just like this, we're gonna go to day two. See you there. And just like that, we are on day night, like night two. Day we're currently in the Fast and Furious queue. But we're not going to be doing Fast and Furious. <laughs> no, we are waiting for... Horrors of Blumhouse. Horrors of Blumhouse. Yeah, we've been in the staying screen. And they're letting bit. everyone in now. Yeah, so we waited in the staying screen for about an hour-ish. Yeah. Sat down, had a drink, and then you start queuing up. And then as soon as, well, 20 to 6, they start bringing everyone over. So it doesn't open till half six, the main gate. So staying yeah. screen is so worth it just to get yeah. in early. So we just come out of Horrors of Blumhouse. That was uh, featuring the films Freaky and Black Phone. Yeah. What do you think? It was so scary. Both of them or were? Yeah. Because yeah. it's like a double feature. Yeah. You do one that's freaky and then you go to the outdoor bit and then you, then you enter Black Phone. So it's like two mazes yeah. in one. And honestly, I've not been in a maze for a good while where I've been like, is this the end? Is it like wanting it to end? Because yeah. every corner and it's all just like sleeping through. I, I haven't seen Freaky, bro. That was a good, it's more like a comedy f horror film. Yeah, but that one was really trailer. scary. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting that maze yeah. to be so terrifying but it was and Black Phone absolutely amazing film and that maze just yeah. played it all out did it justice it and it so was like good. it was just mega scary like yeah. it was like just come out like, it was so claustrophobic in yeah. there like the hallways I got stuff. so many jump scares like yeah, literally around every corner and yeah. you're just like on edge the whole way it was good oh. top tier yeah. it a great way to start the day oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up on our list is Bugs Eaten Alive. To give you an idea, a lot of the queues are kind of like this, where they're just all around the backstage areas. So it's the first bit of theming I've seen outside of a maze so far. So how was Bugs Alive, Joe? <laughs> it was good though, weren't it? It was great, like the concept and the way they've done it, very clever, but it's just gross, man. They have these big bug costumes and they're there like... <laughs> it's like a laboratory where they're testing out like chemicals and stuff and all like the lab technicians are like all kind of 
got mutated stuff mutated and stuff. like got things in their skin and it's gross there's just things dangling <laughs> down and attaching themselves to you and you're getting sprayed with and stuff and things on your legs as well like it's like, just it's so just, creepy yeah it makes your skin crawl doesn't literally, it literally skin crawl some really brilliant. interesting smells in there as well i yeah. thought uh, but no that's brilliant such such good concept i love the whole 50s style vibe of it yeah it was wicked I want so next up we have Descendants of Destruction. So obviously really low queue times at the minute because the gates, have the gates even opened yet? No, not yet. Not yet. What beer have you got there, Joe? This is called a whole hog. Is it a whole hog? Whole hog. Whole yeah, hog. hog. It's pumpkin spiced ale. I've never had pumpkin spice ale, yeah. but it's, it's, it's so nice. Oh, it's so tasty. The bar we were drinking at yesterday, we went, we had one, we went back for another and it was sold out, hadn't it? Yeah. So, Glad we got another one today. So. This next one's about being in an abandoned uh, subway. Uh, it looks quite interesting. I've not heard much things about it yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So we just come out of Descendants of Destruction. Yeah. What do you think of that? That was my favourite one so far. That was your favourite one? Yeah, that really? was. That was like the set piece is amazing. So the, the premise of that one is you're going through a, like a subway, subway and it's all kind of Dystopian. It's like trains in there, like yeah, but oh, yeah. the, the characters they get more mutated as you go through, and then at the very end, it's you're literally in like this luminescent kind of like taken over type of world. It's so cool. The screams you're letting off. <laughs> I scream so much. There's one point I just froze like. Ah! That one when that guy <laughs> comes out and he's like fluorescent. Are you it? I <laughs> literally froze in my. Yeah, stopped yeah, in my tracks. A big scream from you. <laughs> Loved it, it's so good. That was so good. It's really funny as well, because the guy was going around in front of us, like he stopped suddenly and he went, oh, my glasses! And then I just fell out in front of me. So you know when they have like hanging things down? Yeah. His glasses were trapped in one of them, so I just like ripped off. I was like, I've got them! The good thing about these mazes is it's like, there's just staff like dotted around the maze, just standing there. So sometimes that is a kind of a negative, because it can take you out of it. I, I find anywhere like, I get less scared, because I'm like, oh, there's just someone normal standing there. But then for things like that, it's really good. And if you're quite nervous. And they help people move along and they yeah. can take you out if it's too much. So I actually thought that was a good thing. And people, not, it's not people messing around and stuff, yeah. I guess. The whole conga line deal, does not feel like a conga line? No, it doesn't. You have a lot of space between you all. You're not like just going through like and, and stopping and starting. Yeah. You go straight through. How's your duff? Got you. Duff. You got duff fly, which is the pills. Yeah, the pills now. Oh, oh the light is the pills now. It's just called, it's just called duff fly. It's not actually light. Yeah, because you want lager or pills now. Yeah. Nice. It's tasty. Very refreshing. Oh, no. So we're in the meats locker now, where you can get a uh, meats meat. Oh, it looks so gross, doesn't it? Yeah. Meats locker. But then you walk, you queue up down there to get it, which is really cool. So here we go. What are these called again? Zombie brains. Zombie brains. Cauliflower, deep fried. They look good. It's like tempura battered. Yeah. Good? Oh yeah. Yeah, man. The Pumpkin Lord! Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> So yeah, we're now going to go and do Hell Block, our last maze oh, yeah. we have to do. That's Stand by up. entrance. That's all, after that, it's all 10 done. 25 minute wait, that's yeah. so good. So Joe, what do you think of Hell Block? I thought that was really cool, you know. It was good. The only, you do like penitentiary jail ones. 
I've done a few of them before. That was just different because it was like monsters. Yeah, the monsters out. that are in there. Some of them were just like, oh, what is that? Yeah, like, probably the weakest one I've done. Yeah, say. and it kind of shows because it's had the lowest queues yeah. pretty much throughout the event as well. So, but apparently, if you're if you're big into your ha 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 Halloween horror nights, there's a lot of Easter eggs, like old monsters in there. Yeah, I stuff. think there's a lot of returning monsters. So if you've been here a lot, like that's yeah. something extra. But it was it? good. It it's was cool. good. It was like definitely worth doing. It was still 100%, fun. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to deadly unrest, this um, haunted cemetery. So we're gonna go to the weekend bar. And we're gonna try this Save Your Tears, which is Old Forester Bourbon, uh, peach brandy, single pressed lemon, a garden nectar, a uh, bit of salt and peach burst and boba. So good. It's got, it's got like peach boba in it. And it's it's delicious. Like it's it said it's bourbon and brandy, and I was a bit like, mm, not my faves, but it was really works. nice man. So this is like the show on the lagoon, which is like the uh, the water show. Now, please open the stereoscopic picture book that accompanies this album. Good. Your story is about to begin. Loved it. So good. 
unexpected bonus, like a fountain show. There was that shout out to the madness section as well. Oh yeah. That was so good. That was good. Welcome to the house of fun. <laughs> I didn't film that bit, but it was no. very good. Love I didn't it. film the whole thing. It was about 10 minutes long, weren't it? Yeah. Good, epic. good, good. Epic, man. Super epic. That's about it for our vlog from Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Yeah, our Horror first Nights. ever visit and oh my god did it deliver. But honestly, it's such a good vibe. Like the houses are next level, the theming yeah. is next level. There's some things that are like in, in the UK we probably do a little bit better in terms of like scariness, but in yeah. terms of the whole overall everything. Yeah. Everywhere you go around this park, you will see something happening. Yeah. You can't escape it. You can't escape it. <laughs> and it's and such a big park yeah. as well. So. <laughs> and the music, just the, the smells, the like I said, the atmosphere. It's amazing. There's just so much going yeah. on, like all over the place. It's amazing, brilliant. One video can't do it justice, really. Yeah. But yeah, we tried to capture as much as we can. At least you got a flavour yeah. of it. And if you ever get a chance to come and yeah. do this for yourself, absolutely. It's just, just 100% recommended. Yeah. Just make sure that you've got good shoes on. Yes. It's very tiring. Your feet will be. Dead. We are shattered and we've got another one we're doing tomorrow night, but we're not going to film it tomorrow night, we're going to enjoy it. We have enjoyed it anyway, but I don't want to bring the camera tomorrow. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. If you like us, please give us a subscribe. For me, it is Bond. For Joe, it is... Woo!